screen welcome to ITS workshop in this video I would like to show you how to set up static IP address in your virtual machine I created one virtual machine my guest system is CentOS 7 and I created virtual machine with CentOS 6 so you can you can have any combination whether window or Ubuntu or Fedora any system so for send to us we would like to see how to set set up IP address and so before starting you just open terminal in your host system and you check which are the what is the address of your adapter so if it is Linux system you give this command if config hyphen a if this is Windows system you can give if config ip config hyphen all and so when you give this command you'll find vmnet 1 and vmnet 8 so these are the adapters which are used uh, uh, which are used uh, by your VMware so once you install VMware these adapters are automatically installed so this VMnet 8 we have got VMnet 8 so this is the address in VMnet 8 we would like to use this address not exactly the same but these three classes this address information in order to configure our static IP in virtual machine so you just note not down this address of vmnet 8 adapter so we have done this vmnet 8 adapter and this is the i'm creating this playlist for hadoop vm setup so we have installed centos now it's time to give ip address so let us go to our virtual machine open the terminal and you just become root user now we are root user now here you need to check ifconfig hyphen a like we same did in our system so now you can see it is using eth0 adapter so this is the default one it uses eth0 adapter but first of all we need to set up get gateway so in order to set gateway you just open etc sys config you come to etc sys config you do ls hyphen l now you'll see list of files and directories but we are interested into this network file we need to change this network file so you can use nano editor or vi editor i am using nano editor for editing this file so here we have this file just i and then you can give gateway sorry there is one typo gateway and now you need to calculate like what what IP address what gateway what proper address you need to give so for the calculation you can consider this address so since this address is already 172.16.194.1 is already occupied by VMnet 8 adapter we cannot use it so we can use 172.16.194.2 so this can be your gateway and now you just save this this is done for this file you just save this you come out and the next step is we have set gateway next step is we need to set up network scripts so you come to your 
virtual machine you go to sysconfig network scripts here if you do ls hyphen l you can find different files for different adapters since we have already checked that we are using eth0 adapter so we need to update this file ifcfg eth0 you open this file with vi editor ifcfg eth0 so this is our file which we need to add device eth0 hardware type ethernet and uuid on boot no boot proto dscp now you can see protocol is dscp we need to change it so there are various parameters but uh, we don't need to bother about all of them we can just set couple of these so i'm removing everything and keeping device eth0 boot proto static then ip address ip a d d d r this ip address again you can calculate according to your vm net 8 adapter which was 1 172 0.194 one is already occupied by vmnet 8 adapter two we have set up for gateway here i am giving it 10 so this is the ip address next thing you can give net mask 255 okay so this is the minimum information which you need to provide in network scripts adapter file so just save it and now both files are saved so you need to restart your network if you want to ping it if you want to make this ip address effective so for restarting you just give one command service network restart it is starting your network and now if you give if config you can check whether your ip address is set or not so now you can see our ip address is set now we need to check whether we can ping this ip address from our host machine or not so just open command prompt and say ping 172 point 16.194.10 see we can successfully ping it means your ip address is set and we can access it from our host machine So thanks for watching if you like this video please click on like button subscribe for more videos like this thanks a lot